Matthew, it says we're live. Okay. Hello. Happy Sunday, everybody. I Dion will, here. I will watch my mouth. We'll watch your mouth. <laughs> hey, Dion here. It's time for Paint Talk. You guys, Matt's here. And we are going to work on the sides of this piece that I started. I'm working on a step-by-step, beginning-to-end uh, paint tutorial. It's going to include staging and photography and posting on social media and doing some marketing. It's going to involve all of those things. So it's going to be a really fun furniture course. And this is the piece. You guys have seen me tease it just a little bit. How are you guys? I'm doing good. Thanks are you doing asking. good? Thanks good. We How just walked about? Elijah out the door. He was home for the evening and he came home and had dinner with us and had to get back to college. He said, I got to be back by nine. So he darted out the door and we jumped on here on our live. Hello, Karen Brown and Patty and Tammy and Papa Mac and Irene. Claudette is here. Um, fun stuff. So this is part of the course that I'm doing. I've been working on the front. I have a ton of videos that I've got to put together. I'm going to end up staging it with you on video for this course. I'm going to photograph it as part of the course. And then I'm going to actually go through how I do my photos, where I'm going to post them on social media maybe do a reel um, on Instagram and create a whole course from start to finish on how I do my furniture pieces. Hello, everybody. Hey, it's 430 in South Africa. Claudette. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Missy Yoder. You guys were on YouTube and Facebook. So if you see us talking to other people, that's why. Do you have I, IG going tonight? I don't. My phone was dead. Oh, man. Sorry. I know. I had it on earlier and... I just can't quite get the two phone thing down every single time. Patty would like to know what color is that, Dion? You know? I custom mixed it. Um, that's something I talk about in the tutorial. It is, hi, Mama. It looks splotty and splotchy, I guess you should say right now. Um, hi, Robin. Um, I custom mixed this color, and I talk about it in the, the um, course that I'm creating for you guys. Um, it is a combination of bohemian blue was my base and then I poured in beadboard I believe no it's vintage linen I created this robin's egg blue but it's DIY paint um, and then I have used crinoline on here and we're getting ready to put a wash over this whole piece but I'm putting down the clear wax as a barrier in a few areas Okay, so it's real splotchy looking right now, but it is kind of a Wedgwood blue. That was that was something I was kind of going for, but I custom mixed it. So it started with the bead, the vintage linen, and the bohemian blue. Oh, wait, you know what? I also added in Queen Bee because it was too blue and I needed it to be more green. This is my little paint concoction here. We're going to get in here in just a minute, but this is my inspiration photo of this door that I'm using for this course. And I wanted to custom mix a color. So I did everything I could to get there. And I was almost there and realized it wasn't green enough. So then I added in some Queen Bee into my blue combination and it did the trick. So uh, this was my inspiration. And in this course that I'm doing, um, I'm going to take it to the staging wall, film that. I'm going to film my photography and film um, me actually posting it onto social media. And that way, uh, for someone that's just beginning, they can see my entire process with the course and it'll be available on my website really soon. Um, Abracadabra said, did you remember to drink your moon water this morning? I did not. I did not think of that. Uh, thank you. But yeah, I'm really happy with the color. It's totally unique. And um, I just kind of mixed and mixed and mixed. And so what I'm going to end up doing which I, the, the front is not finished. I'm gonna actually put in a black wax. See how the edges are a lot darker? And it's kind of splotchy in areas and it's just kind of worn, um, very natural being an outside door. And that's kind of what I'm going for with this piece. Uh, Michelle found this for me in the Tulsa area and brought it to me. Bless Mich Michelle, Michelle. You guys, we still have tickets available for the April course here in Oklahoma City. Um, I'm, I've rented out a little chapel that was built in 1842, and I'm going to host a class there. So see, I'm Is just... Is it pronounced chapel or chapel? It's chapel. Okay. Are you serious? I'm, I'm serious. Are you serious, Wood? 
Yes. I know Lolly's on here. She'll she'll get me straightened out. Oh. Hi, Lolly. I hope you are on here, honey. That means she feels better. So I am doing this intentionally with just a little bit of wax in splotches. And then I'm getting ready to do the whitewash over the whole thing. Um, this door inspiration is extremely worn and weathered. And that's why I'm doing it the way that I am. Um, it's It's got a lot of worn areas. I lolly. She might, she might not like that. Like what? She rolled her eyes at you. I think she's just because she knows. You think she wants a hug? She needs she a big old a, bear hug. She might need a bear hug. She, kind of, you pick her up and just squeeze her. Oklahoma bear hug. <laughs> Thank you, my Michelle. Uh, will this piece be for sale or is this for personal? This is for anyone. This is for sale. I love, love, love this piece. Um, and I know I've been doing it behind the scenes because I've been recording myself as trying to put together a really great course for somebody that wants to see the whole process all together. Um, so I've been working really hard on it behind the scenes, trying to find extra time. Uh, but I thought, well, we could do the sides together tonight because I've already got the front filmed. And then we're going to put black wax um, and distress it really heavily uh, to try to kind of mimic that door. All right, let's do the fun stuff. Well, it's it's she messy. doesn't want the bear hug. Nope, I'm good without the bear hug. What about butterfly kisses? Butterfly kisses? Would that be better? <laughs> Hunter and Hallie got baptized today together at the same time. It was awesome. Sister Lisa Dixon. That's good news that she wanted to share with her turquoise Cyrus family. Um, hi, Miss Ermino nickname. How are you doing, babe? You been painting? We had a great Friday night live. You guys, thanks for showing up. Here we go. Here goes the mess. I got to move my boots. Hang on. Let me take off my boots. I don't want this messy paint dripped all over here. I think I need to wash those things. Don't you touch my boots. I think yeah, I know I've worn them everywhere. Y'all ready? You literally have not taken them off. I'm not going to apologize either. I don't think you should. No, I'm not. Um, Patty says, did you put wood bin on the front? No, that's not wood you bin. That was natural. That That's part of the original finish. Isn't that awesome? I've never used would you bin. I would use IOD, the iron orchid design molds, but this actually had this already on here. So you see how some of it's pulling off, you guys? Right? It's pulling off where I put the wax. It's not adhering. So what is that? Oh, Matt. I just said. You said it was a concoction? Oh, watch the water grow on top. That's fine. It bangs me on the head. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? If it banged me on the head. So this is a concoction that pulls off, doesn't pull off. I put the wax on first. Okay. And then the concoction. Yeah, and then the the it's just watered down. Is it called crinoline. concoction? It's just watered down crinoline. Oh. Very watered down. Water, very watered down crinoline. Yeah, it's just a whitewash. When I was little, my mom had a couple of pieces of Wedgwood. And this is actually more green than Wedgwood, but so I was kind of thinking more of a Tiffany. I was trying to make it look like a Tiffany blue, but then I saw that door and I went, I'm in love. I'm in love with that door. I wouldn't give anything. Can Matt, I wish that door was on our house, even though it wouldn't go with our house at all. But we could just build a house around that kind of door. That's a gorgeous door. If you don't know what door I'm talking about, this is my inspiration for this piece. I tried mixing the colors Bohemian Blue and Vintage Linen to get that color. And we're going to do this side. We'll do the other side in case you missed that. It needs to be very distressed. And then I'm going to do a clear wax and a black wax to get that really distressed look like the door. Has everybody had a good weekend? Tell me about it. Uh, Texas Roadrunner would like to know the paint water ratio. And can I answer? You can answer because I don't do ratios. I mean, yep. it's going to be a little bit. Now, this is Oklahoma speak. It's going to be a little bit of paint, a little bit of water, and then more little bit of water. Well, it's it's just very watered down. 
I don't do ratios. My apologies. Um, before I get ready to paint, I don't, I don't really, I, I look at the consistency guys and I apologize. Matt's laughing at me because I don't ever measure. Please don't be mad at me. Never even think to measure. I've been doing this on video, the whole front over the last couple of weeks and trying to do everything step by step. I'm going to put it together in course form for you. And I just do an aside with you guys tonight. So you kind of see what I've been working on. Um, people are, um, Carolina says, get in the bathroom. Said what? She get it our bathroom. Oh, for the weekend. Her bathroom. Um, That's Abercrom a big job, sis. Yeah, Abercadabra got to see her grandson. Oh, exam. congratulations. Um, Janae says these techniques you do kind of remind me of painting on silk. You use a wax border to keep the colors apart. I did not know that. I did not know anything about that. That's Hello, Rob. Cool. Hi, Rob. So you can see where I put the wax, guys, because it's bubbling up. It's not adhering. You know what's funny? What? I was in the car today, driving. I had to go get um, some wood for some more frames. Some framing that you had right? to do. So mm -hmm. I stopped off, and I am taking Dion's car through the car wash. Oh, thank you, honey. Because it was really dirty after the snow that we got the all snow last week. So anyway, I'm sitting there, and a song comes off. Oh. And it was it was an older song, and Rob. And Carrie Corder popped into my head. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. Not at the same time, but really, really close. So you were like, I gotta so tell Rob and Carrie. I'm like, I'm like, okay, if they're on, I gotta tell the story. Because Are they was, on? I, I see Rob, and I think Carrie's on too. But anyway, um, guess who it was? Merle Haggard. It was not Merle Haggard. Oh. Ronnie Millsap. Well, why did you think of it? I have no idea. Do they? Okay, Rob, do you like Ronnie? But no. it was Ronnie Millsap, and I wish I could remember the the song. I mean, he's, he's got quite a few good ones, but. Does he really, I, though? No, he really does. Does he really? And <laughs> so anyway, I had to tell a story. I thought it was kind of funny. So. Well, Rob and Carrie, Matt was thinking about you in the car wash today. Yeah, little Ronnie Millsap. So this is the front, you guys, and I have a course coming out i'm going to i'm switching it to the other side it's still splotchy we have a long ways to go but i'm truly in love with this little color that we mixed up ronnie Millsap, my word i'm so glad that when you hear ronnie Millsap, you don't think of me oh no no i didn't i didn't I have to turn it over to uh, like 90s pop music before I get to you. Turn it into a little Run DMC? Yeah, a little Mariah Carey or... Oh, no. Uh-uh. Never yeah. been a, uh -huh. no, yeah. never yeah. Been a uh -huh. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey's all... You're all about the Mariah Carey. That is such a lie. And Whitney Houston. No, that's a lie. That's true. You sing it every time it comes on. Mm -hmm. Little... Uh, and also, I, uh, what's that? The boy group. The boy group? Yeah, the boy band. You're so full. Of, now you're it? just making Stone Cold. No, that's so. What's the new name? Kids of the new Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block. Yeah, I was about to say old kids, but New Kids on the Block. Talk about old. You. Old kids on the block. Uh, Janae says, "Hey, you got new rollers? Where? I, need I them. did. I got them on Amazon. Amazon. And I found the 12 inch. Don't even bother with the three inch. But I bought the 12 inch called Pro Source off of Amazon." Uh, Michelle is posting any links that you guys might need. Uh, for those of you thinking you might want to come to Oklahoma for the workshop, she's got that link. Rob says, uh, I think it's, I'm saying this right. Men Menudo? Menudo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wasn't that a boy band? Yeah, I guess. In the 80s, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny. But anyway, did you tell them the, the, how, the, how the rollers come? They come in threes. They trick you. 
That's the other thing. They come in a set of three on Amazon. So that's tricky. So I bought six and then realized, wait a minute, in order to actually do this with a pro source front four, yes, but you only get the 12 inch, you guys. Don't bother with any six inch babies. Well, we still, they, they come in handy in the garage. Maybe in the garage when you're not having to go over anything. Yeah. Um, thank you, Michelle, for posting. Yes, that is right. Rude Woods. I don't know. Delisa said it. <laughs> I don't know, but it's funny. My vision, it's too poor. I can't see the numbers until the buses are in front of me. Oh, I missed what she said. So this is a furniture course I'm trying to get together. Uh, this week, I'm going to go live. We have a bunch of stuff going on live. You guys, all my spring merchandise will be here this week. My purses and new aprons, and nobody has seen them yet. New silk scarves. All of that's coming out this week. And I'm going to be at the chapel this week taking pictures, and I'm going to do some lives from there. Uh, what else, Matt? We have a photo shoot for the Turquoise Iris Journal, issue three. Matt's going to do some modeling for the journal. <laughs> Not really. It's going to be a fun week, right? Plus, we have about 42 baseball games to squeeze in, in yeah, on all of that. It's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. Uh, Janet, Janet from Another Planet, she said, well, what about the Hanson Brothers, Taylor? The who? Handsome brothers? Nope, not a fan. Was never a fan. I think I was, um, I think I'm too old for them. Pretty sure I'm too old for them. Um, okay, there's a conversation going on on YouTube that I'm trying to play catch up on. So, okay. Gavin's not on again tonight, and my understanding, he's a little upset because Why? the painters may not be able to take his paint with them. What? So they're unable to um, transport the liquids? What? Well, then he has to ship it. I, I agree. So. He has to get shipped. He has to get all of his stuff shipped. Who's saying this? What are we finding uh, out? This is between Betty and Lala. Okay. So, so the story of Gavin is moving this week. Uh, Patty says... Um, <laughs> oh, here, here comes the man moves stuff. Chris and CPAC, will you be designing man moves? Huh. Patty says, modeling? No. Matt? Pam Dudley, will Matt be modeling the Matt Moo Moo? So he has a Matt Moo Moo. Um, but I don't think he's going to be modeling. And I think that one, t the one little rendezvous that you guys were able to witness, I think is going to be the only one. I don't think he could find it, even if he tried at this point. Uh, Louise Dixon said, mm, bop, miss me, pop, mm, pop. That's what my daughter, who is 29, used to sing. She was a huge handsome fan. <laughs> um, okay, see, I'm so much older than her. I'm 44 next week, you guys. No, excuse me, I'm 45 next week. Um, I, was a, I was a new kids on the block girl. Juan York has a question. She sure, says, Juan. lighting is awful. Is there lighting you suggest? Lighting for painting. Um, gosh, this ring light is wonderful. I, I turn these on when I paint in here and they're on Amazon for $89. Um, uh, but it lights up the whole room. It's an 18 inch ring light from, um, on Amazon. You can put in ring light. Uh, Maria Flores. Sorry, Dion. I miss what colors you were working on this piece. Can you mention them again? So I made my own color because the inspiration is this old door. And I'm creating a course step by step. So I'm, I'm not showing you what I did to the front because I'm creating a course and creating a ton of videos. Also, we're doing staging, photographing, editing, marketing, social media, all of that in within my course. So um, I'm just doing the sides with you all tonight. I mixed vintage linen and bohemian blue. Those are two colors from DIY. And I tried to match that door. And then I added in... Right when I got the intensity of the blue, I added in some queen bee, put some yellow in my blue, and it made it more green. And that door, oh, it's dreamy, it's divine. I love it. So after we do this, 
I will need to add black wax, but I have to film it. So I can't, on the front of this, I have to film it and distress it really heavily. And the reason I'm putting the splotchy, it's clear and I'm putting splotchy clumps of wax on it is so it pulls off and it doesn't adhere. You can see where I'm putting the wax and where I'm not, it's soaking in a lot better on the areas where I don't have the wax. It's not bubbling up. Uh, Shannon from Another Planet, how far apart did you put the nails on your canvas holder on the wall? Matthew, do you remember? Uh, you put them in the studs, so 16 inches? Yeah, 16 inches on center is what we had done. Yeah. Um, that's what we did to uh, to secure the board to the wall. And then you can kind of really put them at any space you want to. Um, ours are, you know, about about 16 inches, anywhere from 12 to 16 inches apart. So it's just kind of, I mean, just making sure, make, making sure the wood is secured to the wall is probably, probably what I would suggest the most. After that, the screws that stick out that you hang stuff on, um, you, you can remove those and, and move them as you wish, but uh, ours kind of stay, we haven't removed them, removed them. So about 12 inches to 16 inches is probably about right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Gail has a question. I have a silly question. You know the little seal in the top of the can. That's the question. You know the little seal on the top of the can? Question mark. I don't know. I'm not sure what that means. I am not either. What was the question, sweetheart? I don't know. You know the little seal in the top of the can? Hello, Tasha Watkins. Betty says, my youngest is older than you, Dion. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, about to be 45, and Holden's going to drive right after that. Oh, Gil wasn't finished. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Um, so this is my inspiration. I tried mixing a color using Bohemian Blue and our vintage linen, and then I added in Queen Bee. Is that not delicious? But I want you to see all the texture in there. And so I am going to be doing black wax. And I just, when I saw that, this needs a lot of work too. Uh, but I'm filming this entire thing step by step, which is why it's not anywhere near finished right now. Um, it keeps the paint from opening in transport. Rohini, Rohini, did you know that you won today in the group? Did you know that you won the prize um, for participating in the February challenge? Because I didn't know if you saw that video, but when I did part four today in our group uh, tutorial, I drew names for our February challenge winners and Rohina won. Rahini, Rahini 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 won. You did. Did you, did. Know, did you know her and Tom had found uh, okay. moo moos, white moo moos that you can paint on? You know? White moo moos that you can paint on. Yes. Well, isn't that divine? I hope you bought those for yourself to keep those. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you hate the moo moos? My man, my man doesn't no, 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 wear no. a dress. I didn't say man moo. Oh, I love man. I love moo moos. That's what. That's what I she wear said. them. Yeah, she she doesn't she didn't say. Oh no no no! I love I love a good moo moo for a lady. That's all you wear at night. I know. I I love things that don't touch me. I would wear that during the day. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't have a problem with that at all. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the black wax and I'm just gonna give you guys a sneak peek of this stencher here because the sides of that did not take me very long. Rob would like to know what my big plans are for Dion's birthday. So I'm 45 and holding 16. <laughs> um, I just want to know if you leave them in the jar or throw it away. Uh, Gail, which, what? Leave it in the jar or throw it away. The thing at the top, styrofoam thing? The white styrofoam thing. I throw those things away because they bug me to goodness. They bug me to death. Okay, so a little bit of black. I need another rag. I know what she's talking about. Okay, so because this has so much dark, oopsies, dark 
around the edges as our inspiration. I am going to go in with some black wax and just see. Is this where the is this where the magic happens? I think I might do clear first because oh. I'm a little worried. So I'm just going to do one of these right here. I'm going to do clear first so I can wipe off the black if I get it too heavy. But yes, I mean, wax is always where the magic happens. People that don't use wax, please, I want to encourage you to use more wax on your furniture pieces. It just really sets it apart. So I know this is going to be kind of big time this week. We have we have a couple really big time guests coming on on FNL this week, don't we? Big time on FNL this week? Yeah, we I should mean, do it Friday like, night. They're like well-known, established. Turquoise Iris Crew. Turquoise Iris Crew. That's they cool. are. Mr. Derek. Carrollton and Derek Carlton and Michelle and Michelle. So we've got two lined up big time, big league guests on this week. No pressure. <laughs> yes, no pressure for Friday night. Michelle's like, oh crap. I just remembered that. Oh, Lisa, I hope everything's okay with your mom. Oh yes. I wanted to check on her. How is she? Oh, and Lolly's friend didn't get to come home. Do not poly, poly over the wax, Alice. Don't poly over wax. No, 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 no. I don't. Well, I mean, you can. You can. I, I always break the rules. Michelle goes, I am ready, man. Derek Car Carleton says, are you ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me do this. I'm going to blot it. And I'm going to wipe. Ah! I'm just going to do this one because I'm going to film all the rest of this. Okay. Go. The turquoise iris says um, Derek will cop out. I think there's a little bit of smack talking going on. It's kind of like I, two. She kind of like challenged two, him, man. I know. It's kind of like two prize fighters kind of jabbing at each other before they get in the ring. <laughs> you know, they, they're throwing insults around and are you ready to rumble? Trying to intimidate one another. It's quite impressive. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I know I need to wipe it back, but I'm just like loving it already. Oh my gosh. This yeah, is Carl. literally what custom hand painted means. Derek says, uh, ready, Michelle? Question mark, question mark, question mark, LOL. <laughs> she says, I'm ready. So does that mean like nobody else should even try to come on with them? I think it's just going to be, uh, you know, it's like 30 minutes, Derek, of just jabbing, throwing uppercuts, maybe a couple <laughs> left hooks. Maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe some haymakers. For 30 minutes and then we'll have michelle come on doing dodge and weave and uppercut body shot body shot you, body shot you guys have to see this closer you are not getting the gist of it because i think right now it just kind of looks like um there's no reason to put a sealer over wax you guys wax is the sealer you could but really i mean wax you saw the repel the water with just the one coat i want you to see that up close Uh, Penny Doss, can you put any? I just, I, I, I saw her question, babe. I just answered it. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. That was the one I was referring to because there's no reason when you have wax to put a sealer over it because wax is the sealer. Okay. Um, Lisa Dixon says cage max match on Friday night. You know what I get to do on Friday night? What? Let's get ready to rumble. Way too loud, yeah, you guys. I, I'm, I'm gonna bring my my A game voice. <laughs> Thanks, out. Derek. It is gonna be. It means needs more cowbell. Oh lord. Needs more cowbell. <laughs> yeah, I love this, you guys. So I want to leave this other one for the video, but that looks exactly the way I was hoping it would, because as you can see at the top of this, and uh, let me turn this down. You can see the way the black is in the, the creamy white. 
Yes. So now that I know that's going to work like that, I'm going to put the clear back over the top. Um, and like I said, if you guys are coming to Oklahoma City, grab your ticket now. I only have about 10 left. And Matthew, will you be there? I, I'm planning on it unless there's baseball involved. Michelle will be there. My mom's coming. My cousin has a ticket, so I'm going to have just a whole family affair, and you guys are already my family. We will so go out I, to dinner yeah, afterwards. One big family reunion. We will go out to dinner afterwards for those that want to join us. We'll do a big family dinner. <laughs> I think of you guys as family anyway, so I'm putting clear over it. Over the white, I'm um, letting the original wood come through. Delisa said, to, to, be, to be clear, so you did clear wax the door before the black wax? Before the black, just now. I just did the clear. Right. She just wanted to just yep. make sure. Yeah. And it also, before I even put the whitewash on it, I put clear on in a few areas, but that's in the video that you didn't see. But it was on the sides. I did it the exact same way that, the way that I did the size. Is it better to use a brush to put wax on instead of a rag? Alice, I'll be honest with you. I've only ever used a brush. So I don't have the answer for that. I've never used a rag. I love my brushes. Um, anyone coming from, going from the Dallas area? Um, Lolly, let me think about this. I usually always have several from the Dallas area that come up. Um, I'd have to be looking at the receipts. I know Christy Lunsford and Cheyenne are coming. Kathleen, I hope so too, sweetie. Um, but I know Christy and Cheyenne are coming. I have Marilyn, Janet from Another Planet coming. Uh, we have Lindsay Fuentes coming from California. We have, um, we're representing Indiana and Illinois Arkansas, and Arkansas. Delisa. Delisa Dixon right here. Kansas, um, Missouri. From all over. And Kristen's coming from the Austin, Texas area. So uh, Kristen was at, uh, Kristen, um, yes, Kristen was in the McKinney one. Kristen, you met Lolly. Lolly, you met Kristen. Kristen Seabach coming from yeah. the Austin area. Yeah, yeah. She, you guys met each other at the workshop in McKinney. Robin Johnson, I just bought my ticket. <gasps> and Robin was at the McKinney one too. You guys, Robin was, oh, that's great. Robin, thank you. I can't wait to see you again. Okay, so I'm taking the black and I'm blotting it and I'm going to just put it in circular motion where over here and I'm gonna just do it around the edge first. So if you've never been to a workshop before, um, I do all the hard work, you guys. I do all the painting. I let you guys come up to the front and actually help me with the piece of furniture. But you don't have to be intimidated. Um, I've had several people message me and say, I, you know, do beginners come? Well, you don't have to do the painting. I set up, I set up a paint section, like a little paint area for you to play on canvas and just kind of feel the paint. Um, play around with it on your fingers if you want to. But I do not make you guys paint unless you just choose to and want to come up to the front with me. I'm sorry, Rohini, there are no available VIP tickets. The VIP tickets went in like two minutes. We're having eight people come out to our house the night before. And, but we will be going out to dinner if anybody wants to join us after the class so we can spend more time together. Lisa Dixon is throwing a little bit of Harry Potter knowledge on us tonight. All right. I love it. Let's see it. Daniel Radcliffe. He, uh, he plays Harry Potter in the Harry Potter series. I guess his favorite food is poutine. Where did you hear that? That is very obscure knowledge, but I am actually happy to know that. Thank you, Lisa Dixon. You're amazing. Your workshops are amazing. I'm bummed I won't be able to attend this one next one. Oh, Carrie, thank you, honey. 
it will be time to see you again, won't it, sis? One of these days. Terry's going to have to bring her get fiddle. Her get fiddle? Yeah, her get fiddle and play a little bit. She may be able to play a little Ronnie Millsap. Shoot, did you? Carrie, were you on here when he told his story? Yeah, she was. Oh, she was? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Val would like to know what the date of the workshop. It's April 17th here in Oklahoma City. I have rented a little chapel, uh, reclaimed warehouse where I've been doing mine, where I sell the paint. They shut down their um, event center temporarily and with, you know, just because no one was renting it. And so I don't have anywhere, I didn't have anywhere to do it. So I rented this little chapel and I'm super pumped. To welcome you all to it it's in the art district of oklahoma city it's this uh there's this, this area that they're restoring and bringing all the whole houses back and the the um lots of funding restaurants and they always do the arts festival right there too so uh, no arts festival this year because of covid but it's a it's a popular area down there And if you need a place to stay, well, if you buy a ticket, Robin, we put you in a group. We'll invite you. Michelle will invite you. Uh, Michelle, will you invite Robin to the group? Put you in this private group where we talk about lodging and we'll talk about places to eat. And then Michelle's going to put a whole list of hotels for you in there. Yes, Melinda, she did. She used a clear wax first. I did. I'm putting this black on a lot heavier than I normally do because I want this piece to be really distressed. Like, take a look at this. Goodness. Thank you, my Michelle. We have narrowed it down for the Waco or for the Creative Connection Retreat. I think we've got that finalized. We'll be given the detail for the Creative Connection group soon. So if you're in there, I've got those details coming out really soon. Lolly says, so no camping in your backyard? No camping, sis. It might be a little chilly. Well, Gail wants to know why there's no slumber party at your house. <laughs> there's teenage boy slumber parties here all the time, but that is not going to be as much fun. That's not what you're going to be want to be interested, I promise you. <laughs> Please add you to the list. Kristen. Kristen, are you already in the group? Are you in the um, the private group for the for the class? Delisa, I haven't bought a ticket. Well, Molly, you should. All right. So I'm going to bring you in closer again because that's where you can see all these delicious details. Hi, Annette. Thank you so much, Betty. Oh, Kristen, we need to get you in it. We will send you an invitation. My apologies for not already getting you in there. I know that um, several people have booked their hotel already in Moore, Oklahoma, um, and it's just a straight shot up the highway. All right, so now the goal is to get the entire piece to look like this. So this is perfect. I'll turn my video, my camera on, and I will be able to record me doing the other side and get that ready. Um, I'm excited to get this new course together for some of you who want staging, photography, marketing, posting on social media, all in one place. Um, it should be good. What are we having for supper, Matt? <laughs> Says Annette. Oh, the, uh, the night everybody's coming over? Yeah. She's just we're gonna giving me have a hard food, time. We're going to have poutine. I don't know if she's going to have We're going to have mounds and mounds of poutine. It might be a poutine waterfall. I don't really It won't know. be. Just, just cheese overflowing mounds of french fries. <laughs> it won't be. All right, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. This was fun. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, this was a custom mix color of vintage linen and bohemian blue with just a little bit of queen bee added to get that green tint to it. We have, we have a question. I'm sorry. Sure. We have may have answered this. Sonia uh, Banwell, mm -hmm. what brand of wax are you using, Dion? Are some brands better than others? Not sure if you can answer that. Um, I use DIY. 
it's the paint I use, the wax I use. I use all of their products. Um, for me, they are the best that uh, for the projects I do, for the way I paint. Um, so when I say it's the best, it's the best for me. I couldn't really tell you what's going to be the best for you or for anybody else, but I love the texture of the wax. It goes a long way. Uh, it's really buttery. It feels like a moisturizer. Um, and because it's all natural, it only has nine ingredients. And we have um, retailers all over the country. It has Love Beeswax, Carnuba Bet Wax, Candilila Wax, Carisin <laughs> Wax, and Isophore. It literally has like seven ingredients. Um, and on each can is a tutorial that shows you how to use the wax. Um, so hope that answers your question, sweetie. DIY, wax is all, uh, DIY paint is all natural with no BICs. Um, it's it's not going to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. And I like that. That's really important to me. Um, where is Matt's canvas frame video? I can't find it. Sister, go into the Creative Connection and go to the search bar where the little magnifying glass is and type in frame, uh, framing video, but also go to the files and Michelle put it there with the link and um, it's all in there. Uh, Jessica says, Dion, you need to try Wise Houses. You know what? I retail um, DIY, so I just stick with it. It keeps things easy. That way, everybody knows what I'm using, and I, that they don't have to wonder which color or which brand I use. So I'm obsessed. Uh, but yeah, it's in our group under Files, where you can search it with the little magnifying glass. Good video tonight. Thank you, sweet dreams. Everybody have a wonderful night, wonderful day. We will be back. Wednesday. Wednesday night for another episode. And um, I believe we're either going to, um, so I don't know if we're going to be doing furniture wax. Sonia says, I'm wondering if Annie Sloan wax is an inferior. I would say it's not an inferior product. Um, I think Annie Sloan wax is probably top notch. It's a totally different texture. Um, it's thicker. And I, I like DIYs because it's more buttery. So it's all just what you're used to, but absolutely, um, absolutely not inferior at all. Any Sloan would be a top notch product. Um, I guess that's it. No more questions. Jessica's a retailer for Wise Owl. Awesome. Sonia, this wax is gorgeous. Y'all have a blessed week. You as well. Everybody take care. Mwah. See ya. Yeah.